This video is brought to you by Smart Money Parenting. Educate your kids about money. More on them at the end of this video. Everyone wants to make money from the comfort of their own home. It's the dream not having to waste time in traffic or deal with office politics or unnecessary drama. So in this video, here are 40 cool ways you can make money from home. Let's get started. Number one, take paid online surveys. So what does it pay? About 50 cents to $3 per survey is pretty normal. Some survey takers make over $100 per month. Market research through paid online surveys is a booming industry right now. Both domestic and global companies invest time and money into understanding consumer behavior. Let's say McDonald's wants to know if they should expand their coffee menu to compete with places like Starbucks. To guide their decision making, McDonald's might hire a market research company to conduct an online survey of coffee drinkers. Number two, negotiate your bills to make room in your budget. So what does this pay? Well, it's variable. It's possible to save $1,000 or more per year. Before you start a side hustle to make more money, see if you can find places in your budget to spend less. Sometimes it's easier to change something in your existing budget than it is to carve out time for an at-home side hustle, especially if you're already strapped for time. Number three, sell your electronics. What does this pay? You'll earn the most money for selling cell phones and tablets in relatively good condition. You'll also get a few dollars for CDs, DVDs, books, or games. Declutter, D-E-C-L-U-T-T-R, buys old CDs, DVDs, games, books, Legos, and technology. Type in what you own or scan the barcode with the Declutter app for an instant valuation. Once you accept an offer, Declutter will send you a free shipping label all you have to do is pack a box and drop it at your nearest UPS location or schedule a pickup. Number four, get rid of your old textbooks. What does this pay? Prices vary depending on the book's quality, popularity, and age. A recent edition with few marks will fetch you more than an older version with lots of highlights. You can sell these books to other students, local bookstores, or even online at various places like Bookscouter. Number five, clean out your wardrobe. So what does this pay? The payout is between 5% and 80% of the amount that ThreadUp charges. ThreadUp makes its money to sell your used clothes online. To sell your items, order a free clean-out bag on ThreadUp's website. When the bag arrives, you can fill it up with your clothes and accessories. You can also print out a free mailing label and send it to your own box if you have one. Once ThreadUp receives the bag, they'll inspect your items before choosing which one to list. The site says they accept less than 40% of items on average. So to increase your chances of getting accepted, make sure your items are clean, name brand, less than 5 years old, and are in excellent condition. Depending on the popularity of the item you send, you'll be paid either after processing or once your item sells. Number 6. Sell your old jewelry. What does this pay? Of course, depending on the quality, size, and brand. If you have an old gold necklace your grandma gave you or an engagement ring from a previous marriage, consider selling them. You can make money easily by sending in your old jewelry. Try to get an estimate first so you can decide which site pays the most. If you have designer jewelry, consider selling it on a site like Tradesy. Try to stay away from pawn shops. You can always almost make more money elsewhere. Number 7. Use cashback apps. What does this pay? Well, it can save you more than $100 a year if used regularly. One of the easiest ways to make money at home is to use a cashback app or browse extension like Wikibuy. Wikibuy provides cashback on purchases made at participating retailers and also shows available coupons. Wikibuy will also notify you when there's a lower price on another site if you're shopping on Amazon. This means you'll save money without spending hours comparing prices. Number eight, install a few cell phone apps or allow ads on your phone. What does this pay? Most people can expect to make $50 to $100 per year. It sounds like a scam, but some companies will pay you to install apps or place ads on your cell phone and leave them there. These apps often run in the background and track your spending and purchasing habits. If you don't care who knows what groceries you're buying that week, then this is an easy way to get a few extra dollars each year. Nielsen Computer, yes, Nielsen, the same company that creates TV show ratings, has a research division that gathers information to help companies better market themselves to customers. 
their computer and mobile panel is focused on gathering information that pertains to your internet usage. What does this all mean? Nielsen will pay you to download their app to any of your eligible devices. After you've installed the app, you'll slowly start earning rewards for using the internet as you normally do. According to its website, Nielsen gives away $10,000 each month to members. Number 9. Sell Old Gift Cards What does this pay? You'll earn between 70 to 80% of the gift card value depending on the retailer, how much is left on the card, and the store's popularity. How often have you looked for your wallet to find old gift cards that have expired? If you have gift cards to retailers you don't actually like, consider selling them on sites like raise.com. You won't earn as much as the cash value left on the card, but it's better than letting a gift card expire. Plus, you'll receive cash you can spend anywhere, not just with a specific retailer. Number 10. Test Websites What does this pay? Between $5 and $20 per test, or sometimes up to $60 an hour. When a website is built, businesses will look for regular people to test it out for bugs, error messages, or lag issues. That's where you come in. You can get paid to test websites and provide honest feedback. Number 11. Play Games Online What does this pay? Depends on the game and time commitment. If you're looking for a way to make money while you're binging your favorite Netflix show, start by trying games that pay you to play. Some websites will let you play games and earn points that you can redeem for retail gift cards or cash via PayPal. Number 12. Deliver Food So what does this one pay? You can make $8 to $25 per hour depending on factors like location, demand, and efficiency. Being a courier for Postmates is a great way to earn extra money, especially if you like not having a set work schedule. Your tasks will include delivering things like groceries, takeout food from restaurants, and even alcohol. If you don't have a car, you can use your bike, scooter, or deliver on foot. There are no setup fees or time commitments with Postmates. You can work as much or as little as you'd like. You'll take home 100% of what you earn every time you complete a delivery, and you'll be able to see an exact breakdown on how your commissions are calculated. Customers can leave tips on Postmates, which will increase your hourly rate. While there are a lot of factors that will affect your exact pay, Postmates claims that experienced couriers can make up to $25 per hour. You probably shouldn't expect to make quite that much, but this is certainly more lucrative than some other items on this video. Number 13. Invest in Fine Art What does this pay? You can earn between 9-15% to in returns. When people think of investing, they imagine the usual stocks, bonds, or real estate. But you can also invest in physical items such as fine art. Up until now, it wasn't possible for most ordinary people to buy famous and original works of art from artists like Picasso, Monet, or Rembrandt. Masterworks is a company that makes it possible to buy shares in a painting just as you would buy shares of stock. Masterworks purchases a piece of artwork using their own pool of money. Second, they will then file the art with the SEC. Third, once the SEC qualifies the filing, investors can purchase shares. And lastly, after some time, Masterworks sells the art and shares the profit with shareholders. Number 14. Rent your car out when you're not using it What does this one pay? It depends on your location, how often you rent out your car, and what kind of car you have. GetAround claims that their average owner earns thousands of dollars per year. One of the best ways you can make money from home is to let other people use your car when you don't need it. Think of it like Airbnb, but for your vehicle. Get Around is a vehicle sharing app that lets you post your vehicle and connects you to people in your area who need to ride. Renters can access and book your car straight from the app so you don't have to mess around with scheduling to exchange keys. As a Get Around car owner, you get access to premium parking as well as $50 monthly rental credit. The app also includes $1 million insurance coverage so you're protected in case something happens. According to GetAround's estimates, car owners that routinely lend out their car can earn thousands of dollars per year actively sharing their parked cars. There's less effort in renting out a car compared to renting out a spare room in a house. That being said, your car will likely depreciate faster by lending it out to other people. If you have a large outstanding car loan or are underwater on your auto loan, putting your car on a site like GetAround might not be a great idea. Number 15. Create a course without school what does this one pay? Variable depending on the price of the course and how many people purchase it. If you have a passion for teaching, platforms like OutSchool make it possible to connect with students around the world. With OutSchool, you can create a course in pretty much any subject and sell them to learners. 
While you don't need a degree to teach without school, you do need to be at least 18 years of age and must pass the background check. You must also have a good command of the English language, reliable internet access, and an understanding of how to facilitate an online class. You'll earn money each time a student or their parent purchases your class, but be aware that OutSchool takes 30% of that price. So if you charge $50 for a course, OutSchool takes $15. Make sure to factor that in when you're setting your price. Number 16, rent out your RV. What does this one pay? Well, it depends on your location, time of year, the type of RV you own, and how many bookings you secure. Through RV Share, owners can rent out their unused RVs to travelers looking to travel via RV. It's free to join and create your listing, and you have complete control over the price, availability, amenities, and perks. You'll negotiate directly with the renter, including scheduling time for you to provide a tutorial or demonstration on how to use your RV. It's a little more involved than renting out your car, but the site does offer up to $1 million in insurance coverage and 24-7 roadside assistance for owners and RV share rental insurance for renters in case something goes wrong. Number 17, work for a call center. What does this one pay? The average national salary is about $29,000 a year for a full-time position. Many retailers and businesses outsource their customer service departments to people working from their home. If you prefer to have a full-time job you can do from home, consider becoming a call center rep. This can be a great gig if you went somewhere rural or without a lot of job opportunities. You can find listings on sites like FlexJobs. Number 18, copyright for businesses and websites. What does this one pay? Well, freelance copywriters can earn $81,000 per year according to Glassdoor. Consider becoming a copywriter if you're a wordsmith and want the flexibility of working from home. Copywriters are responsible for writing engaging copy for things like ads, sales pages, and email newsletters. You can work for an agency as a full-time employee or work for several different companies as a freelancer. Number 19, translate audio, video, or text files. What does this one pay? Well, it depends on the language, length, or duration of the file and turnaround. If you speak another language fluently, you can get paid to translate audio, video, or text files. You can find work on sites like Upwork or market yourself independently with your own website. As you work and get more referrals, you can charge higher rates and earn more money. Number 20, work as a chat operator. What does this one pay? This position pays an average of $11 per hour. If you're quick at typing and have excellent customer service skills, you can work as a chat operator. You don't have to talk on the phone, which makes it perfect if you work at home with loud dogs or kids. Number 21, teach English from home. So what does this one pay? It pays between $14 to $18 per hour. Countries like China have a pressing need for qualified teachers to teach English to kids online. If you have teaching experience, you can start teaching classes from home. You may have to be available during odd hours because of the time difference, but this is perfect if you're a night owl or have another side hustle. You may have to submit a thorough application and complete an interview and background check. Some websites require you to have a teaching degree while others are less strict. Number 22, offer pet sitting and dog walking services. So what does this one pay? You set your own hourly rate. Some people charge up to $50 per hour. If you're an animal lover, then pet sitting or dog walking may be the perfect side hustle. Rover is a website that connects dog walkers and pet sitters to busy pet owners. You can offer sitting, boarding, and drop-in visits for dogs, cats, as well as doggy daycare and dog walking services. Caretakers set their own schedule, rates, size limitations, and whether they want to watch pets in their home or those of the pets. All payment and communication can be done through Rover. Number 23, bake or cook. What does this one pay? Well, it pays between $200 to $400 a month if it's a side hustle. Do people drool over your cookies, covet your brownies, or repeatedly beg you for the secret to your carrot cake? Then consider selling your baked goods as a side hustle. Some states have cottage food laws on how much you can sell without requiring a license, so be sure to research this for your area. You can post your creations on social media and sell them out of your house or venture to local farmer's markets. Make sure to track your expenses so you can deduct the cost of your taxes later on. Number 24, Refurbish Antiques. What does this one pay? Well, experienced sellers can net $1,000 per item. Have you ever found a beautiful mid-century coffee table at a thrift store and restored it at home? If so, you could have a second business taking well-worn antiques and fixing them up. How much you can earn depends on the popularity of the item, but this could be a low-cost side hustle if you're experienced. Plus, if you like doing it, then the time commitment won't be a major issue. 
You may need some woodworking tools depending on the type of work you plan to do, but you could also get by with sandpaper, primer, and stains. Number 25, make and sell jewelry, art, soap, or candles. What does this one pay? Well, you can earn between $500 and $1,000 a month depending on where you sell. If you enjoy creating anything at home, jewelry, candles, scarves, consider monetizing your hobby by selling your unique creation. You can start by taking commissions from friends and ask them to post your work publicly on social media. As you get more commissions, you can slowly increase your rates. Third-party sites like Etsy can be a good way to reach new buyers. You can also start an Instagram account to promote your business. Number 26, buy and flip items from yard or estate sales. Well, what does this one pay? Of course, it depends. Every day, people hold yard sales or estate sales and where you can find valuable items for pennies. If you have an eye for jewelry or vintage electronics, you can buy those items and resell them online, such as eBay or perhaps Amazon. Number 27, post a gig on Fiverr. What does this one pay? You can charge as little as $5, but you can also increase your rates once demand grows. Many people who list jobs on Fiverr are graphic designers, freelance writers, and virtual assistants. But some people actually have fun with it, doing random gigs such as celebrity impersonations, writing business taglines and slogans, or doing genealogy research and delivering messages as character like a cowboy or a cop. Think about what random skill you have and start listing it. You can have multiple gigs, so list as many items as you can think of. Number 28, start a blog. What does this one pay? Well, you can earn up to $1,000 a month with the right strategy. People often have very unique reasons for wanting to start a blog and make money from home. Some blogs are meant to be informative resources for readers. Other bloggers may share personal stories or life updates. For instance, many people will start a blog to document their fitness journey and inspire others along the way. Your blog can make money with A, affiliate revenue from linking to companies that pay you money for sending them customers, B, revenue from your own courses, principles, and other products, or C, selling coaching services to other people. While it will be likely to take a considerable amount of time before you can make money blogging, at least six months, there's no limit on the amount you can ultimately make. Number 29, start a Facebook ads business. What does this one pay? Well, it pays $1,000 to $2,000 per client per month. Think about how many small businesses are in your city, such as local restaurants, dentists, and law firms. Chances are most of them aren't taking advantage of Facebook advertising. These businesses may have a Facebook page, but most aren't getting more customers or sales from the platform. That's where you come in. Learning how to run Facebook ads isn't difficult. You can pick it up and secure your first client within a month. As a Facebook ad specialist, you'd help local businesses 1. Create Facebook ads based on their goals, 2. Gain exposure to their target market, and 3. Manage advertising budgets and ongoing campaigns. How much you earn depends on the results you deliver for your clients. Most Facebook ad agencies usually charge a monthly retainer as their management fee for managing the ads. It's industry standard to charge anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 per month per client, and you don't need previous website or marketing experience to get started. As you bring on more clients and build a reputation for delivering outstanding results, your income can scale up quickly. It only takes a handful of clients to start building a full-time income. Number 30, become a freelance writer. What does this one pay? You can earn between $30 to $250 an hour depending on how experienced you are and the niche you're in. Another one of the best ways to make money from home is to write quality content for publications, brands, and businesses. You can get paid hundreds of dollars per article depending on the length, niche, and quality. The better you are at writing, the more you can charge. Even if you only freelance write on a part-time basis, you could make thousands of dollars a month. Holly Johnson from Club Thrifty makes over $200,000 a year from freelance writing and offers a free workshop for beginner licensing. The better you are at writing, the more you can charge. Even if you are only freelancing on a part-time basis, you could make thousands of dollars a month. Number 31, work as a proofreader. What does this one pay? You can charge between $20 to $45 an hour. If writing isn't your thing, do what Caitlin Pyle did. In 2014, Caitlin made over $43,000 working as a freelance proofreader in her spare time. If you got a knack for spotting typos or incorrect grammar, this might be right up your alley. Pyle's side hustle grew into a full-time business that also allowed her a lot of time for travel. She eventually created Proofread Anywhere, a course on how to become a proofreader. Number 32, become a virtual assistant. What does this one pay? Well, you can earn between $20 and $50 an hour. If you're interested in a career that will allow you to make money from the comfort of your own home, 
becoming a virtual assistant is a realistic, flexible option. Virtual assistants are responsible for helping businesses manage some of their basic day-to-day -day tasks. This includes things like posting to social media, managing incoming emails, creating a schedule, etc. By offloading some of these tasks to a virtual assistant, a small business owner can put more focus on the bigger picture. Number 33, become a graphic designer. What does this one pay? Well, graphic designers can earn between $65 and $150 an hour. Graphic design is something that every business needs, but it often gets neglected. Whether we admit it or not, most people would judge a book by its cover. It's human nature. That applies to businesses as well. If your business has an outdated logo or unflattering brochures, you can be passed over. Graphic designers are in charge of bringing to life the visual feel of a brand. Whether it's creating images for an Instagram feed, designing a restaurant menu, or crafting a logo, the work that graphic designers do has a large impact on how a customer and the general public feel about a business. Number 34, design and sell t-shirts. What does this one pay? Well, this ranges from $10 to $25 depending on the apparel. Everybody loves t-shirts. If you're creative or can come up with catchy sayings, you can make money designing and selling your own t-shirts. Teespring is a site that allows you to design and sell t-shirts without paying any money up front for inventory. You basically create your own store with different t-shirt designs, and once you hit a certain number of orders, Teespring will create your shirts in one batch and ship them all for you. Number 35, participate in affiliate marketing. What does this one pay? Well, it can range from $5 to $200 per referral depending on the product and the company. If you've ever used a referral code from a friend or passed out your own, then you've participated in affiliate marketing. This type of bargaining describes companies that pay people to send them new customers. You get a special code or link to share with the others. When people click on your link and make a purchase, you receive some sort of compensation. This is mostly popular with bloggers, but you can also do it if you have a YouTube channel or a social media presence. Number 36, become a real estate investor. What does this pay? Well, it depends on the property, but you can earn thousands each month. Real estate can be a profitable investment opportunity, but many people don't know how or where to start. It's also common for aspiring real estate investors to be scared away because of the upfront capital requirements. While it's true that you do need some money to invest in real estate, technology has made it easier for investors to get up and running with just a few hundred dollars. If you don't want to deal with the learning curve that comes with hands-on real estate investing, you can start with as little as $500 by using a platform like Fundrise. Fundrise allows investors of all types to invest directly in a real estate portfolio that's managed by a team of professionals. By using a platform like Fundrise, you don't have to deal with the headaches of being a landlord and managing tenants. With 8 to 12% annual historical returns, this is an excellent opportunity to potentially grow your wealth. Number 37, profit off your own weight loss. What does this one pay? You could earn hundreds of dollars if you complete the bet. Healthy Wage is a website that allows you to make a bet on your own weight loss. The idea is simple. If you accomplish your weight loss gains within a given time frame, you win the bet. If you don't accomplish your weight loss gains, you lose your bet. You can use their bet calculator to see how much you could earn. A $30 monthly bet to lose 20 pounds in 6 months will win you between $200 to $529. That could be the financial motivation you need to lose weight and kickstart a healthier lifestyle. Number 38, switch banks and earn more interest. What does this one pay? Well, you could earn $100 a year of switching thousands of dollars. Do you still have the same savings account you had when you were a kid? If so, chances are you're not earning as much interest as your savings could be earning. As of May 2020, the average annual percentage yield on a savings account is 0.06%. That means that $1,000 sitting in a savings account will only earn you $6 in interest in a year. By moving your money to an online savings account, you can start to earn more. Many online savings accounts today offer between 1-2% to APY, about 20 times more than the average. There are several competing banks that have premium rates on high yield savings accounts. Opening an account is easy and you can transfer the money at any time. Number 39, rent out things you're not using. What does this one pay? Again, it depends on your item and your location. You know that super nice DSLR that's sitting in your closet collecting dust? or that mountain bike that you only use a few days a year, we all have something lying around that could help us make some extra money. Now you can use Fat Llama to cash in. Think of Fat Llama like Airbnb, except instead of listing your house for rent, you list everyday items for rent. Some users earn $3,000 per month renting out a wide variety of items, from TVs and high-end sound systems to simple things like bikes and scooters. 
They offer comprehensive lender's insurance. If an item is lost, damaged, or never returned, they'll cover the full value of the item. It's an insanely easy way to make passive money at home and have someone basically pay off an item for you. New users automatically get a $20 bonus applied to their accounts, and you can earn an additional $10 for each member that you refer who ends up placing a rental order. Number 40, help Google and make money at home. What does this one pay? Well, it pays between 10 cents and $1 a survey. Some surveys may not pay anything. With Google's Opinion Rewards app, you can earn up to $100 in Google Play rewards each year for allowing the app to collect information about your user data. You also have to answer surveys to earn credit. It works similarly to other data collection apps. If you don't mind having Google know what you do on a daily basis, you can make money by letting them monitor your internet usage. They use the information they get to help them market increase the functionality of their advertising programs. And as a bonus, number 41, refer students to my course, Smart Money Parenting. And how much does this one pay? Well, it pays $50 for every student you refer that enrolls in the course. Smart Money Parenting is a course that teaches parents how to educate their kids about money. I'm very passionate about financial education, so I created this course to help parents foster the importance of money in their kids while they're still young. If you have an audience you think would be interested in taking the course, email me at partner.smartmoneyparenting at gmail.com and I'll set you up with an account so you can start making money by referring students. And that's the 40 plus ways you can make money from home. And as always, take care of your money.